Hello and welcome to the Cloud Computing School YouTube channel. In this how to video, we will show you how to deploy an Azure App Service resource by utilizing a Docker container instead of the traditional code deployment approach. This demo assumes that you have access to an Azure subscription and that you have either global admin, subscription owner, or other minimum permissions to create a new Azure App Service resource. Deploying your web app or API app via Azure App Service web app for containers adds multiple benefits as compared to the traditional code deployment option. By using web app for containers, you can automate and simplify your container image deployments through continuous integration slash continuous deployment, CI slash CD, capabilities with Docker Hub, Azure Container Registry, and Visual Studio Team services. App Service creates an association with the selected repository, so your apps are updated each time your source code changes. Schedule performance and quality tests in staging environment, and use deployment slots to swap staging to production in seconds, or roll back to previous versions without downtime. Part 1. Azure Portal To create an Azure App Service for containers in the Azure portal, carry out the following steps. Log into https portal.azure.com with global administrator or equivalent credentials. On the top left hand corner, click on Create a Resource. Search for Web App and click on Create on the Web App resource. On the Basics tab, provide the following parameter values. A subscription and resource group name. Under Instance Details, provide a name for the web app and choose the Docker Container Publish option. Choose your operating system, Linux versus Windows, and your Azure region. Choose Linux and West Europe region. The Pricing Plan Choose to either use an existing app service plan or create a new one. For the purpose of this demo, choose to create a new P1v3 app service plan. Choose the disabled option for Azure availability zones and click next. On the next tab, you can optionally choose to provision and associate a database with your Docker-based web app. The available options are SQL Azure, PostgreSQL, MySQL, and Cosmos DB API for MongoDB. For the purpose of this demo, do not choose any database and click Next. On the Docker tab, you can choose between the single container and the Docker Compose option. Docker Compose allows you to build a multi-container solution. Choose Single Container. Under the Image Source menu, choose your Container Registry. Available options are Quick Start, Azure Container Registry, Docker Hub, and Private Registry. For this demo, choose the Quick Start option and beneath it choose the Jinx option. Click Next to continue. Choose to enable public access and disable network injection. If you disable public access, you will later have to configure Azure private endpoints for accessing your web app internally. Also, by enabling network injection, you can utilize a VNet in the same region as your web app. Click Next to continue. Choose if you will use Application Insights in your Docker-based app service or not. Application Insights codeless monitoring for Linux containers currently supports Dot. Net, Java, and Node, the JS applications. If your container uses a different language, consider including the Application Insights SDK in your container. For the purpose of this demo, choose No to continue and click Next.
Optionally provide any tags if needed and click Next. Review all configuration parameters and click Create to start provisioning of the resource. Wait while the Azure resource deployment is in progress. To navigate to the newly provisioned Docker-based web app, navigate to the overview blade of the web app and click on the default domain FQDN to open the web app in your browser. Now navigate to the Deployment Center blade of the web app to validate the three available deployment options, namely Container Registry, GitHub Actions, and Azure Pipelines. Part 2. Azure Cloud Shell You can alternatively create an Azure App Service for containers via Azure Arm or Bicep templates. You can either create your own template or use one of the available Quick Start templates in the Azure Architecture Center. To deploy an existing local Azure template, you can use the Azure Cloud Shell. Open Azure Cloud Shell by navigating to shell.azure.com and open Azure PowerShell. First upload the local JSON file to Azure Cloud Shell. Then run the following commands with the what-if PowerShell operator first. You can alternatively test your ARM template deployment first with the test -a0 resource group deployment complet. Then run the actual command again, this time without the what if parameter. This will initiate the ARM template deployment operation. After running the command, wait for the deployment operation to complete.
You should validate that all expected resources have been provisioned and examine some of the typical resource blades in the Azure portal. In the very end, you can optionally remove the provisioned Azure resources with the following command. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the Cloud Computing School YouTube channel to be notified of upcoming how to videos.